Hey everyone, so I came across this clip. Uh, it's a video of Thomas Sowell, Dr. Thomas Sowell from about 25 years ago. And he's talking about his book, Black Rednecks and White Liberals. I have a copy of it. Um, I recommend it. I recommend all of Dr. Thomas Sowell's book. Every single book of his is basically giving yourself a mind massage. He's, he's a fantastic, fantastic writer, fantastic philosopher, and has so much to contribute to our society. But he's asked about something that he writes in this book. Uh, about anti-Semitism. He asks, why do you believe that anti-Semitism is the way that it is throughout history? Look at his answer, and he gives such an, such an interesting answer that's so relevant to all the anti-Semitism that you find sprouting up today. Take a look at what he says. Well, this book is really about ethnic and cultural issues in general. So there's a chapter on the Jews, there's a chapter on the Germans, and then there's a chapter on history in general. So that, that's, uh, they're, they're lumped together because they're all cultural ethnic issues. Fascinating story because among the, 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 the middle man minorities, of which the Jews are the most prominent, uh, the hostility to these people in countries around the world is out of all proportion to that, to any other kind of group I can think of. Uh, in terms of the violence, uh, the, vi the number of, uh, of uh, black, the number of Chinese killed, let's say, in one year, uh, and by mob action, exceeds all the blacks lynched in the entire history of the United States. And the number of Armenians killed in, uh, in Turkey, you know, during the First World War, is greater than that. And of course, the number of Jews slaughtered on a number of occasions in history, even before the Holocaust, is greater than that. So that the question is, why this particular kind of people? are the targets of so much uh, us venomous hatred. And I think the answer is that um, they, not, they not only succeed, they succeed in a way which is the threat to the egos of other people. But the guy who c comes here, let's say from Vietnam or Korea and arrives here with little more than the clothes on his back and a few word broken, words of broken English, uh, and a decade later, he has his own little business, and you see his son a few years after that getting ready to go off to Harvard or MIT. You've got to ask yourself, you've either got to, you know, you, you, you've got to hate yourself for saying, my God, I've, I've been stagnating, this guy was nothing, and now he's risen up, or you're going to have to hate him. Uh, years ago, one uh, official of one of the Jewish organizations in New York asked me, well, what can Jews themselves do uh, in order to minimize the hostility they face? And I gave him a one-word answer, fail. Because as long as you succeed, you're going to be hated. I actually sometimes say that anti-Semites, in, in a certain degree, are the ones that compliment the Jews the most. Because what do they say? You're so successful. You've done so much in the world. You have so much influence all around that the only way to justify it is there must be some sort of backhanded, behind the curtain, secret deal going on, some sort of international conspiracy that you guys are running the world. Because that's the only solution. There has to be some sort of conspiracy for what the success that we see. And so in a certain degree, the, the, the people that give us the greatest compliment in our, in, our, in our existence are the ones that oppose us the most.